Alright, so in this video we'll be looking at how I got from this to this using AI. So let's get into it. Alright, went to people.ai and downloaded their Switchlight Studio software which lets you relight or remove background using AI. Alright, so once you have the software running, uh, you have a bunch of tools over here which you can um, use and uh, do image manipulation. So first we're gonna go into AI background removal. So you have two options over here. You have you can start from a video or use an image sequence. I went to image sequence and then click select and then um, go into your image sequence and then select all the files you have over here and you can just say open and it will load that in. And then you also click on the output directory and then select where you want the sequence to be outputted. So you just type that and just like that you have everything set up. And then you can just click on background removal and it will start processing your images and removing the background. Next I went to leonardo.ai which is one of the best uh, image generation platform. So you can click on image generation and uh, type in a prompt. I'm using a corridor with some dark lights, some lights, dark, moody and smoky. And then you say generate so it's going to give you some options. And this is the, this is the background which we will use um, for our shot. So these are some of the images I generated using Leonardo.ai and we're gonna be going back to Switchlight Studio and then use one of these images and extract EXR information in, in an HDRI format and use that to relight our foreground. So if you go back to Switchlight AI, I'm just gonna set, uh, go to light map extraction from any image. So in input path image, we'll put in the background we generated and the one we like and in the output directory we will put in where you want the HDRI to be placed and then we're going to click extract light map and say okay all right moving on we'll go back to switch light ai studio and then go into their ai virtual production section we'll say get started so you know, we can use this to relight our foreground element so once you have that running you can uh, make sure it's set on png and exr sequence so over here we will input um, our background removed um, PNG and say open and uh, we'll also make sure skip BG removal is checked so that we are not doing it again and then we're going to select in the HDRI we have and you can see it has loaded the environment over here so now what we can do is just uh, click on analyze and extract PBR sequence so once that starts, it will start analyzing um, and extracting the all the different passes like diffusion, um, specular, reflection from our uh, foreground element. Alright, once that is finished, you can uh, see it has uh, relit our foreground element according to the HDRI we had. And now what we can do is just select our export path and uh, put in a directory and then you have options like what format you want this to be I'm just doing PNG and mode will be PBR um, so you can just say export scene and it will start exporting those frames what we also need to do is uh, make sure I we export all the passes we're gonna be needing so you can see if you select type and say normal roughness um, specular so it has all the options you can export these passes and bring it to nuke and start using them all right i brought all those elements into nuke and this is where i did uh, my interactive light setup and my smoke background and you know a little bit of color correction to the a foreground element i won't be doing it from scratch i'll just go to the script and explain different parts of it all right looking at the first section which is the background uh, i'm bringing in what we have from leonardo i did, did a little bit of hue shift just to bring in a little bit more color into these lights and then i'm using some smoke elements uh, putting uh, and multiplying it with the background so that they have the same color from the lights doing a little bit of color correction and um, also slowing them down a little bit and then putting that on top of our background so there's some smoke some depth in the background right all right moving on i have the foreground element so this is what we have from switchlight ai which is uh, relit according to the hdri uh doing a little bit of color correction just uh toning them down a little bit uh, this is where I'm just doing some color correction to her arm um, and over here I just did a little bit of um, darkening of the whole thing and just making sure there's a little bit of key light coming in from the left side so that's where I'm doing this and then I also use the 
the specular pass which was rendered from the uh, switchlight platform and using that to bring in a little bit more specular to her face and doing a little bit more color correction some black shift uh, some hue correction and uh, making sure this is a section where i'm actually um, tweaking the edges a little bit because the background removal was that wasn't that great uh, and this is uh, how my element is looking right now and if i put that on the background you can see what we have so this is what we have um, which is sort of making looks like there's another light over here which is hitting her face on the screen left so that she looks a little bit more uh, married in right, moving on so we have um, i'm going to be showing you how i got the interactive red light going so we have some normals from switch light uh, i'm using a mix of two um, and then getting it down and then multiplying it with uh, this red uh, color over here which is also our lightsaber color and so that uh, the normals get the, get that color in baked and then i'm just doing uh, multiplying it again with our color so that uh, we have a little bit of plate color as well in there and um, i'm just putting out that on top of our foreground element so we have something like this okay so for the lightsaber i just use the same red color and making a roto which was animated uh, to that uh, sword animation and i'm doing a little bit of exponential glow um, and also using a smoke and then multiplying that so that the smoke has the same color and i'm putting everything on top um, just like that so we have a little bit of smoke around that lightsaber uh, which makes it look a little nicer then I'm adding a little bit more smoke um, in front, really trying to sandwich her between the, the foreground and the background. And just I'm doing some grain and then doing a little bit of overall color correction. And yeah, and that's it actually. Another thing which helped me in this composite is I took the final composite of my Nuke script and I put that into um, Leonardo image generation platform and generated some ideas. So we got some really cool ideas of how uh, the background can be blended a little bit more, how we can have a little bit more light on our face. And then we can take all these changes and try to dial, roll it back into Nuke composite. So you get a sort of a guidance where you can take your uh, final shot too. Yeah, and that was the video. I hope you liked it. There's so many ways you can use these AI tools nowadays. Uh, keep following for more content as I explore more of these tools. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.